guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am joined here with Timon so that I can give you a review on how my 2020 went and my plans for 2021. Sorry that like, I look disgusting. I didn't, I look gross. I, I feel really sick today. So sorry, you have to experience that. 2020 sucked. We all know it sucked for like everybody. Um, but there were some good things. So I'll start with the bad. So in 2020, we lost three pets. Um, I lost a toad, which we didn't think was gonna make it. She was still in her quarantine phase. I didn't post too much about her because we really didn't think she was gonna survive. And we lost um, one of my hissers that also was in quarantine. They came with these guys. So Peach passed away, unfortunately. Um, we don't really know if it was age or if she was just really sick because these guys came from like a pretty not great environment, um, which is why they were rehomed. And unfortunately, Cranberry passed away. So Cranberry was my first Madagascar hissing cockroach and I was very, very attached to him. I cried for days. <laughs> like I know he's a bug to some people, but to me he was a lot. So I did preserve him. That might seem kind of morbid, but I figure that he's in a shadow box and I could take him to the future programs and like let people really look up close without risking injuring one of my live bugs. So a couple of the other things that happened in 2020 is that we did have to move a lot. We had to move from our three bedroom apartment, which is where all of this started due to financial reasons with our roommates. I'm not really gonna get into that. And we had to move again because we were kind of in a financial hole. So we actually are living with my mom at the moment and um, yeah, <laughs> it's not bad, but we are going to probably move soon. But other than the global stuff that really bad that was happening in 2020, that's pretty much it for what happened with us in 2020. Um, like I said, there's a lot of things that happened, but I'm just trying to stick to animal related things. So that's all you get, that's all you get. <laughs> all right, so the other bad thing that happened in 2020 was as you might know, we had to rehome our mammals. I made a whole video on that and why we had to do it. I will link that um, up here. Um, and the other bad thing is I did have to rehome my sugar gliders. Some people have asked, I think I posted something about it on Instagram, but we did have to get rid of the sugar gliders. Um, we could not bring them on this move because we are in the same bedroom as all of my pets. And with having a cat, it wasn't gonna work out. They like didn't have their own room that they could be in and not, you know, and like be safe. So just to avoid anything wrong with that, I rehomed them to someone who's in a different state. She is amazing. And like we drove to that state because I was so happy with her. And I really liked how she took care of her current gliders and she just seemed like the perfect fit. So they're okay. Nothing bad happened to them. We just had to rehome them, unfortunately. So unfortunately this year I also lost my stepmom. Um, again, not really animal related, but I don't know. I had to take a little bit of a hiatus from things, which I also had COVID at the same time that she passed away from COVID. So that really sucked. That sucked a lot, but we're moving past it. A lot of bad happened in 2020, but like a lot of good happened. And one of the good things that happened was this little noodle right there. So we got four pets. We got Timon, my um, three-year-old corn snake. I made a video on why he's so small, which I'll put up there. I also got an avicular, avicular tarantula named Guava. Um, and I also got a, another female Madagascar sea cockroach that we named um, a Cobbler. So the I actually made a video of like picking all of them up and that'll be up there as well. They were all rehabilitation cases Cobbler not so much, she jumped back pretty quickly, but um, Timon here is obviously still being rehabbed, but he did up his food. So when I first got him, he was still on pinky mice. Now he's on fuzzies, and I think after we're done with the current fuzzies I have, he's going to end up going up to hoppers because he's growing very quickly. Um, Guava was rehabbed, he's still kind of skinny, but he's plumped up a lot. And he had his first molt with me, which was complete, but destroyed because I didn't see it in time. So, 
that's great. <laughs> I also got a kitten named Scout for my birthday. He's almost a year old now. I think I got him in May, but he was born in March. Yes, March. So very, very happy to have those guys. Um, 2020, I also made this YouTube channel. So in April, I think, I think it was like April 12th or something, um, I will be celebrating my one year on YouTube and not gonna lie, I think I have 230 right now. That's not bad. So thanks guys for being interested in what I have to say. So it really means a lot to me that you all like my channel. So that's pretty much it for 2020. So let's talk about plans for 2021. So 2021, I think is gonna be a good year for me, hopefully. Our goals for 2021 is to move again, hopefully. The last move we're gonna have for a while, hopefully. Um, and then we're also gonna hopefully be getting a new car, I hope. We got like really good jobs now and hopefully, you know, we're gonna get everything paid off and move again and just kind of start fresh because luckily we were able to have the opportunity to just start fresh. In 2021, we will also be doing enclosure upgrades. So this little guy is still in a 10 gallon because he is so tiny and I really have to monitor him right now, make sure his poops are good um, for advice from the vet. But hopefully he will be getting moved to a 20 gallon very soon and eventually to a 40 gallon like um, Clementine's in. So hopefully that'll all happen in 21. Pretty much everyone except for my snails, my hissers, and guava. Yeah. And maybe Sai. I think Sai might stay in her current enclosure. I'm not really sure. But everyone else is getting enclosure upgrades. So tons of enclosure upgrades. Maybe even some enclosure builds in the future. I'm really hoping to be able to do that. Tell me if you guys would be interested in videos of it. So of course we're going to have to uh, move before I really start any of these enclosure upgrades because I'm not gonna do them um, um, while we live here, of course. That would just kinda be silly. Future of 2021, I will also be giving you guys an update on him and how big he's getting because I think um, maybe the end of this year, he might get full size. So we'll see what well, his full size he can get. We're not really sure if he's going to get full size or if he's gonna always be like a little stunted. Also for upgrades, I'm wanting to get every single one of my animals on UVB. Even if they don't really utilize it and they're nocturnal species, I really think every animal can benefit because at least then they have the option. Um, I also want to upgrade my thermostats and my heating and all of that. So hopefully this year will be the year for all of that. I'm going to be spending a lot of money this year. A lot of money. Having pets is very expensive. Um, don't think it's not <laughs> they they get my paycheck like that's I got paid today and everything I can think of besides like rent utilities is pretty much them like they 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 eat my money you might think that my pets eat rodents and bugs and salads they actually eat cash I will also be getting some new additions this year of course now this is gonna happen until we move and everyone else is upgraded yeah, I'll be getting another American Toad for Gladys or two, I'm not really sure yet. I want to get a male at least, but I might also get another female, I'm not really sure. And I may get another Fowler's Toad to house with Sai. She's kind of a spaz, so I don't know if she would like the company or if she would hate it, so we'll see. Um, other than that, I really want to get some White's Tree Frogs. I'm really into White's Tree Frogs, um, so I might be getting some of those and I'm kind of looking at getting a gecko maybe or a newt I like newts um again these are loose planning I don't even know if it's going to happen this year but those are the plans I know the toads are at least gonna happen but the white tree frogs and stuff I'm not as sure so we'll see but yeah I think that's pretty much it for 2020 and 2021 Hopefully 2021 is better, fingers crossed. I hope that 2021 is a better year for you as well. And uh, best of luck to everyone, fingers crossed. Um, 
Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. Link is down below. I post pictures of my animals every single day, and I think they're pretty stink and cute. So, love to see you over there. And just like always, I will see you next week. Bye.